Intergalactic garbage retrieval craft number 60022, known around the galaxies as Space Ark, finds itself by mistake in orbit around the planet Earth. Ponder and Zippy are in the control room discussing why human creatures use their cars. Well, I think they use them to crash into each other. And I think that they use them to get from place to place. Well, look at the evidence. There are millions of cars on Earth, and most of them travel safely along the roads, even though some of them travel very quickly and very close together. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. It's a competition. The cars are chasing each other, trying to catch up and bump the one in front. They even turn it into a game that people watch. Go for it! <laughs> now that's what I call a game. You see, you can't deny it. Cars are made to be crashed! But that doesn't make sense. I think that if they bump into each other on the road, it's an accident. If what you're saying is true, then there would be more crashes. No, no, no! That would be too easy. There are rules. There are rules. There's a time limit. If they don't manage to crash in the time limit, they have to stop and start all over again. See for yourself. There you are. They're all lined up again, waiting for the signal to start. Oh, we're never going to agree. We're going to have to send Luca down to investigate. Oh, by the way, where is he? He's been out checking the Ark. He should be back by now. Whoa. Oh, oh. Good grief, what on earth? What happened? What happened? The switch on my magnetic seat in the probe failed. I had to stop quickly, and I was flung out of the seat and hit my head on the inside of the probe's window. Oh, but shouldn't you be in the workshop being properly treated? It's all right, Ponder. They say I was lucky this time. They're sorting me out a new lens, and the probe is being repaired. But what if it fails again? He needs a backup. A backup. That's what he needs. What sort of a backup, Zippy? Yes. What did you have in mind? There's nothing on the Ark. Well, while he's checking on how cars are made to be crashed... Zippy! ...or made to be safe when they crash, he can also find out how the human creatures protect themselves in cars and so sort out his little problem. It's not a little problem. It's very serious. And I'm not sure it's safe for him to travel in the probe. Don't worry, Ponder. Well, you'd better double-check that seat. On my way. seems to be the place. This testing laboratory is one of the biggest in the world. They carry out all sorts of tests on motor vehicles. When one car runs into something, or runs into another car, they stop very quickly, and the force is very big. So big that it damages both cars. It changes their shapes. But what we need to find out is how the human creatures protect themselves from injury if the car they are in is involved in a crash. When? I beg your pardon? When a car is involved in a crash? Oh, Zippy! No, Ponder, I think he has a point. Most cars are involved in a crash at some time in their lives. So, we must find out how safe a human creature is if or when a car happens to crash. But when a car stops suddenly, don't the human creatures get thrown about and injured, as Luca did in the probe? I'm afraid they do. In this test, they use a special dummy. It is the size and weight of a nine-year-old human creature. Oh, my! That was terrifying! Oh, if that had been Luca! The car must have been travelling very fast. No, Zippy, it was not travelling fast. Only 30 miles per hour. So how are the human creatures protected, Luca? How are they protected? Well, most of the human creatures seem to fasten themselves in with belts that hold them in their seats. And there are even special seats for the very small ones. 
These belts look like the sort of thing that I need. Before we make a decision about that, Luca, you'd better find out where and how they test them. I have programmed the probe to visit a laboratory where they do just that. <laughs> This looks like the place. Where are you, Luca? I'm in a test laboratory. And I can see the special dummy. It's strapped in a seat. But it's not in a car. It's on a sort of trolley. This is the machine they use to test seat belts. Was that something or was that something? Let's see it again, Luca. Can you switch and show it to us in slow motion? Switching now. It looks as though the seat belt stretches with the force when the dummy is thrown forward. It does. This is very important. But there is a limit. The dummy must not move forward more than 30 centimeters. But why does the material have to stretch like this? Well, because it stretches, the dummy does not come to a sudden stop. If there was a sudden stop, well, the seat belt could cut right into you. And if it stretched too much... I know, I know. The dummy would move too far forward and crash into the windscreen. Oh, just like Luca. What other tests do they do to make sure you'll be safe, Luca? Go to the stretch test, Luca. <laughs> A sample from every length they use for seat belts is fixed in this machine. Two marks are made 100 millimeters apart. Then the machine pulls on the material with a constant force of one ton. That's a big force, a big force! And how far does it stretch? To pass the test, it has to stretch more than one centimeter, but less than three centimeters. And what happens if it stretches more than that? Or even less than that? It fails the test. No seat belts are made from that length of material. The next test is on the same machine, but this time, instead of a pull of one ton, the pulling force gets bigger and bigger. Wow! Wow! That's more than four times the force on the belt in a real crash. So, seat belts are a very safe way to protect the human creatures if they are in a crash. That's right. They strap themselves in so that when they do crash, they don't get hurt and so they can go on playing the game. Oh, I can't believe I'm hearing this. Luca? Yes, Ponder? You'd better get back up here so we can go over what you found out. Fix you up with some safety straps and see if we can knock some sense into Zippy. On my way. Well, I still think the cars are made to crash into each other. If you'd like an order form for the T-34, 